So after having used an SSD in my new old Mac Pro for months, um, getting this new guy right here, this new iMac, there, there's just no way. It's not possible. I cannot go back to a regular hard drive. That's exactly what I decided to do. Now, this is just the base model 27 inch late 2015 iMac. I know I got it mid 2016. And luckily, Apple didn't have any updates at WWDC, so that worked out nicely. That being said, stock hard drive, one terabyte, not bad, but let's install a 500 gig SSD. Now, my mom brought up the, a very, a very important question. Well, why 500 gigs? Isn't that a downgrade? And, and yes and no. Uh, yes, of course, because there's less internal space. Uh, but no, not really, because of how fast it is, and all of my extra media stuff are on external hard drives anyways. Let's check out, see what we got here. So, going cold turkey, say I wanted to get just the 500 gigabyte, oh, it's actually 512 gigabytes, my bad. Um, 500 bucks, just under a dollar per gigabyte. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Although, um, I remember the first flash drive I ever bought, was a one gigabyte flash drive and it was uh, it was huge it was about that big and it was eighty dollars so how much would that cost if say we wanted to do it ourselves so this is the hard drive that I bought 500 gigs 150 bucks see that 150 bucks not bad but we can't just put in a smaller two and a half inch drive into these bigger three and a half inch drive slots. So we're gonna need to get a bracket adapter. So you can just search in two and a half inch adapter. This just happens to be the one that I have, although I think it's a different color, 13 bucks, okay? But there is one last step that needs to happen is that when you crack open the iMac, well, first of all, you need the proper tool for cracking it open and cutting all the adhesive. And second of all, you need new adhesive so the screen doesn't fall out every time you touch the computer. And so I got my stuff from iFixit.com. So let's see what they charge for this iMac adhesion stuff. Adhesion strip kit. So that comes with a cutter tool and it comes with all the proper adhesions. Um, and there was one other tool, I need to buy a spudger, I think that was like two bucks. So all of that, just going in cold turkey is already way less expensive than if you were to just have Apple do it for you. And not only that, but first of all, I already had the hard drive. Sure, I, I just bought it a few months previously, but I already had that hard drive and I already had the bracket adapter. So spending 20 bucks on some adhesion and cutting tools, no brainer. Alright, it's speed test time. We're gonna test the internal speed versus how fast the hard drive can be over USB 3.0. Now, uh, right off the bat, I tested the SSD because it was still on the outside before I swapped it in, and the hard drive. The internal hard drive was fine at 190 write and 192 read, but right out of the box, even over a USB 3 cable, the SSD had almost twice, basically twice the performance with 330 write and 430 read. Now, after the swap was made, the performance was even more of a difference. It was insane. The SSD shot up to 475 write, 510 read, and then the sad, sad hard drive dropped down to 102 write and 114 read. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, I think it's pretty clear that SSDs are way the crap faster than regular hard drives and are definitely worth the upgrade, and that you should just do it yourself because Apple is way too freaking expensive. No disrespect, but 500 bucks? What? What? No, it's 180 whatever is still less than half of what Apple charges. And as you can see, having a, a, over two and a half times for those hard drive speeds, it's a no brainer. So anyways, thanks for watching guys.